Madam President. The Senator from Wyoming. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I come to the floor today, and having heard the Senator from Washington, the senior Senator from Washington, a Democrat leader, talk about something in this Senate chamber, and she called it outrageous. Let me tell you, Madam President, what I find outrageous. Outrageous is the fact that people all across this country are facing crisis after crisis, all caused by the Democrats who are in charge of the House, the Senate, and the White House. And on this day, the final day of the fiscal year, we are spending time on a nominee who is completely unfit for the job for which she has been nominated. That, Madam President, is outrageous. But it's been one outrageous thing after another that I hear about in Wyoming each weekend. In August, it was the chaotic abandoning of Afghanistan, resulting in the death of 13 American heroes, hundreds more of individuals who lost their lives were Afghani citizens. One of those brave soldiers, Riley McCollum, a Marine aged just 20, was from Wyoming. President Biden's activities in Afghanistan, they were outrageous. Because of his hasty retreat, the administration has en enraged enraged our allies around the world and has emboldened our enemies at the same time. That is outrageous. You know what's happening at the southern border, Madam President. I would tell you our weak immigration policies have resulted in millions of illegal immigrants flooding into our country. That is outrageous. Across the West, a lack of fire mitigation and tree thinning lacking has contributed to raging forest fires. These fires threaten lives, communities, and economies. And here in Congress, Democrats continue to create chaos. Runaway partisan spending has resulted in the biting pain of inflation and spiking costs for families all across the country when they go to the grocery store to buy food or go to the gas station and fill up. That is outrageous. So with all these crises occurring across the nation and the world, what is Leader Schumer and the Senate Democrats choosing today as one of their top priorities for the nation? Well, it's confirming a nominee who has a history of having collaborated with eco-terrorists. We talk about the threat of terrorism around the world and the threat of terrorism at home. And yet the Democrat leader is bringing to the floor today a nominee of the President of the United States, and apparently endorsed and agreed to by all of the Democrats, who has a history of eco-terrorism and has been involved in such. Confirming a, nom a nominee who collaborated with eco-terrorists, lied to the United States Senate, wrote in favor of population control as a problem related to the climate, and promoted the idea that homes built in the forest should be left to burn. This is outrageous. President Biden has nominated someone named Tracy Stone Manning to serve as the director of the Bureau of Land Management. Across the West, it is known as the BLM. Ms. Stone Manning lied to the Senate, lied to this very Senate this year about her past association with an eco-terrorist cell that hammered hundreds and hundreds of metal spikes, about 500 pounds of metal spikes, into trees in Idaho Clearwater National Forest. If these metal spikes are struck by a, log a logger saw, the injuries to the logger can be fatal. And it's not just loggers who use saws, it's firefighters as well going in to help fight fires. The same impact would occur to them. Ms. Stone Manning anonymously sent a threatening letter to the United States Forest Service on behalf of the eco-terrorists, of which she was one of the ringleaders, and then spent years covering up their crimes as well as her own. The lead investigator on the case sent a letter to our committee, the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. The lead investigator sent that committee to say that Ms. Stone Manning had, was investigated 
and she refused to cooperate as a result of the crime. She had years to come forward, years to reveal the crimes, and she never did. It wasn't until after she was caught and she was promised immunity and she received that immunity, it was only then that she agreed to testify. Earlier this year, Ms. Stone Manning lied to the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee about her involvement as an eco-terrorist and in eco-terrorism. When asked if she had ever done anything to support tree spiking in any forest, she replied, no. This is blatantly false. Ms. Stone Manning's troubling record goes beyond lying and collaborating with eco-terrorists. She has written articles and a graduate thesis supporting the idea of human population control. And one year ago, one year ago, not when she was a student, a graduate student, a number of decades ago, but one year ago, she tweeted an article that her husband had written calling that homes built in the forest allowing them to burn during fires. She called the article a clarion call. Now this is for the person nominated to be the head of the Bureau of Land Management. A clarion call. That is not part of the responsibilities and is the exact opposite of what we should expect from the head of the Bureau of Land Management. Tracy Stone Manning is a dangerous choice to be put in charge of America's public lands, and each and every senator who votes to confirm her will be held personally responsible for that vote. Her nomination has been publicly opposed by the last two, the last two BLM directors, by outdoor organizations, by sportsmen's groups, by pro-life organizations, by loggers, by the Western States Sheriff's Association. The list goes on and on. And might I mention that one of those past two BLM directors was President Obama's BLM director, who said she was unfit for the position to which President Biden had nominated her. She is the wrong choice for this job. She should never be confirmed. But that is exactly what Senate Democrats want to do today, and that is outrageous. At a time when America faces mounting crises, Senate Democrats, each and every one, is determined to confirm a nominee who collaborated with eco-terrorists, lied to the U.S. Senate, and continues to hold very dangerous views. Madam President, I emphatically oppose her nomination. Every Republican, every single Republican in the Senate opposes her nomination, and I urge courageous Democrats to stand up and do the same. Thank you, Madam President, and I yield the floor. Madam President.